Minecraft hacks and tricks that are kept secret by pro Minecraft players. Watch until the end to become big brain. So in Minecraft, you can actually rename the campfires huh? and whatever you name them is uh, what name tag they'll have. Okay, name tag? What? No, that's impossible. Blocks can't have name tags. Only mobs can have name tags. Uh -huh. No, what? That is so cool. Uh, apparently campfires are now living creatures because up until this point, the only things you could give names to were mobs, such as cows, or pigs, sheep, the rest of it. But this trick seems to say otherwise. All you're going to need is an anvil and then they chucked the campfire into this anvil and just renamed it whatever. So if I was like, subscribe, so, can I even sell subscribe? Subscribe to EY Stream, which is exactly what you guys should all do right now. You're telling me this campfire is just going to say it above. Yo, what? Huh? It's not commands. That is actually real. You can have floating text above your campfire. This is the perfect way to put floating text around your house in Minecraft. Wait, if I go ahead and use a shovel to put out my campfire, will my text still remain? Okay, that is really cool, guys. The text still stays above the campfire, even if it is put out. That's great. Okay, and they also used a soul fire. Let's see if it works here as well. You guys should also turn turn on the bell uh, to get all of those beautiful notifications. Let's check that out. And that works too. What? Yo, this is so cool. You can get, you know, floating text like you see on servers and stuff. Wait, if this works for campfires, does it work for other workstation blocks as well? Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a, oh, I don't know, a furnace also cooks food. Now, an important thing to note, guys, is this is actually in Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. I'm pretty certain this doesn't work on Java Edition. So that's your phones, tablets, consoles, and the rest of it. So let's go ahead, rename this furnace to Cookaboy. All right, there we go. And chug out Cookaboy down. See, that doesn't have a name tag. Normal blocks do not have name tags, but apparently campfires do. I don't know why, but I'm telling you, this is what the Minecraft pros are hiding from us. Mobs and their secrets. All right, what do we got here? If you feed a brown mushroom a flower, then use a bowl on it, it will give you a suspicious stew. Excuse me, what? If I milk this cow, it gives me stew? Now, this is just so wacky and weird, I feel like it could almost be true, but I have never tried it. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is a mushroom. You can find them in mushroom biomes. Now, normally, if you come up to one of these guys with a bowl like so, you can go ahead and milk him, and it's going to give you just a normal old mushroom stew. But you will notice that they weren't using just any old mushroom. No, they were using a brown mushroom. Now, to get one of these, they need to be struck by lightning. Now, you can sit here and just wait for that to happen, but if you want to speed this up, we can place down a lightning rod next to our mushroom here, guys. Then we can use an anvil and grab ourselves a trident, enchant it using a channeling one enchantment book, and then you just gotta wait for it to start thunderstorming. But we can use a command to make that happen straight away. Alright, now we got to do is strike down on our lightning rod, ba -bow! and that's going to turn our mushroom into a brown mushroom. And now what we need to do is go ahead and feed him a corn flour. Now, I have no clue if he actually ate my flour, so let's go ahead and extend our farm just a little bit. I'm going to switch into survival mode. Wha bam Let's feed him our corn flour. Okay, he ate it. That is definitely a good sign. Now we get ourselves a bowl and we just got to milk his udders. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bang! Yo, it actually worked. Check it out. We got ourselves some suspicious stew. That is so weird. Now, if you go ahead and eat this thing, I believe it gives you just a random potion effect. So let's see what do we get. Okay, we've eaten it, and what do, what do we get here, guys? We got ourselves jump boost just for a few seconds there. So this is a really quick way to get yourself, you know, suspicious. Ooh. Okay, if you just milk him without feeding him flour, you still get that mushroom stew. But every time you want a suspicious stew, you're going to have to feed your brown cow a different flour. But it's a much easier way than, you know, brewing potions, for example. I think it's great. <laughs> Minecraft glitches. How are we breaking the game today? Place it down pistons, some honey, and carpet. Yo, is that duplicating the carpet? No way that actually works. That could easily be faked with command blocks, but it's still worth a try. Now we're putting down slime blocks here, observers, and then rails. Oh, it's a rail duplicator. Okay, we actually tested that in a previous video and it worked, but I don't know if it still works in the new version of Minecraft. And this here is a tripwire hook duplicator. I don't know if this works either. Now, first trick to test involved breaking out two blocks from the ground, replacing those with obsidian, then putting two honey blocks out the back like so, having a sticky piston facing in towards these two honey blocks, then any block out the back here. We're gonna place any carpet we want to duplicate on top of that sticky piston and a lever back here. Apparently, all we need to do is click this lever. Let's give it a go. Hey, look at that, guys. We already got one duplicated carpet here, but does it keep working? Yo, check it out. I can click this lever as many times as I want, and I'm just going to keep generating carpet on carpet and carpet. 
This is a much easier way to get a bunch of carpet in Minecraft without, you know, creating an auto sheep farm. Guys, I already got 27 blue carpet, and you can use any color you want. Now, this one I have never tried before. Now, the other two we have tested on the channel before, and they did both work. However, they were all tested on 1.16, an older version of Minecraft. We haven't actually seen if they work in the newest version of Minecraft. So let's give this a go here, guys. We're going to need ourselves some redstone. That comes across here. We need to activate that piston. This is a sticky piston into three slime blocks and then two rails there. Let's get... Oh, we needed our observers, and they need to face this way, I believe, with the little red dots looking towards us. Let's hit that. Hey, look at that! Okay, so our rail duplicator still works. That is fantastic. The final one to test here, guys, is does our tripwire duplicator still work as well? So we've got our two uh, trap doors. They both need to face upwards like so. Then we need to crouch, place our tripwire hook on the left, on the right, then connect these up with string just like so. Boom. All right, go on there. Aha! Yes! All right, all of these still work, guys. As you can see, we turned two tripwires into four, and you can literally just keep repeating this process to get as many tripwires as you like. These are kind of the cheat ways to beat Minecraft, but let's be real. They just make things so much easier. Here are five weird things you definitely did not know about the new goat mob in Minecraft. All right, test me. What do we got? Seconds. The goat is a new mob for the Caves and Cliffs update uh -huh. part one, and will only spawn in mountain biomes. All right, I knew that. five percent chance for a goat to spawn as a baby. You huh. can actually milk goats the same as cows. Wait, and you, you get can? normal milk, but I think it would have been funny you if they goat had milk? goat's milk. <laughs> goats are bred so with cool. wheat, so pretty much they're the same as cows. Goats can jump up to 10 blocks in the air. Ten and this is blocks. if the goat is trying to are cross an serious? obstacle like a hole or a fence. They have hops. Every 30 to 300 seconds, a goat will ram any mob except goats and goats <laughs> that have not moved. I saw this During in the, the Minecraft trailer. Intervals, and deal nine blocks of knockback. That is so much knockback. All right, Mr. Goat, first off, I have a very important question to you. Do you have milk? I don't see any udders on you, but we will give it a go. Hey, check it out! They will actually give you milk. So I don't know, if you just really hate cows, you can get your milk from goats instead. And you can drink this to remove any potion effects you have. Now, the next thing I want to know is, do these guys really have the hops? Now, they said they can jump 10 blocks. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put our goat down here, and let's see if we can escape, all right? If I pull out some wheat, will you come up here? Okay, this goat, this goat is coming, but this, this goat is kind of chilling down in the hole. Bro, are you coming up anytime soon? Okay, I don't know how you're supposed to make them jump. I don't know if it happens very often. Are you coming up here? See, I'm bringing the wheat up here, but our goat ain't jumping. What happened to this man's super powerful 10 block jump? Maybe he'll only jump if it's like two blocks in the ground here. Wait, we'll try this out. Okay, can any of you jump? I am looking for an acrobatic goat. All right, that's all I want. How many of these are we going to have to dig? Guys, just one of you! Any single one of you. Does anybody want to jump for me? What if they're all just lazy goats? You're all lazy goats! What? Guys, look! That one jumped! <laughs> yes, I finally got myself a jumping goat! I literally had to sit here and wait forever. But eventually, one of them stopped being lazy. So they do jump 10 blocks. It's just, they're just incredibly, incredibly lazy. <laughs> There's no way this works, dude. I just saw this one and works. I don't believe it. Bucket of axolotl and yep. then blue dye. No way. That no still way. looks like a pink axolotl no. to me. No Wait, what? <laughs> this is so exciting. How have I never thought of this before? I can get any color of axolotl I want just by dyeing it. Duh, like sheep, guys. But you do this in a crafting table. Now I can get the incredibly rare blue axolotl. There's only a 0.083% chance of this morning, but I can just craft one. Bucket of axolotl, blue dye, and... Excuse me? Where is my blue axolotl? That guy made it seem so legit. It was clickbait. It was clickbait. No! I'm so excited, guys. Are you kidding me? What? What? No. Nah. No, I will not stand for this whatsoever, guys. This guy clickbaited me. And he probably clickbaited a bunch of other poor kids to try this as well. We're exposing this clickbaiter. They added a crafting recipe to the game. And there's only one way to do that. And that's by actually changing the code of the game. They went that far to clickbait us. We type in slash data pack enable. And we're going to use this craft axolotl's data pack. And this is now going to allow us to use this crafting recipe. Bucket of axolotl, blue dye, bang. Let's go ahead and spawn him in. And there is our incredibly rare blue axolotl. Unfortunately, guys, you're just going to have to find him in survival. 0.083% chance. Man, I just want a cute blue axolotl. 
Again, we've got another case where game sense does not exactly line up with the oh? logical sense. What do you mean? You see, you'd think that armor stands with better armor on would take longer to kill. Oh, well, I mean, you would hope that duh. when you deck these guys out, they wouldn't break so easily. But yeah, as it turns out, with or without armor, they're still going to take the exact same number of hits Wait, to take. Wait, seriously? So that prop four armor's probably There's doing no a lot way. more for you than it is for a that couple of sticks in a slap. I've honestly never thought of this before because I thought it was pretty obvious. If it has better armor, it takes longer to destroy. But apparently Minecraft logic was like, nope. And we're about to find out if that is true. So we've got a normal armor stand here with no armor. We've got another one. We're going to put full netherite armor on this bad boy. I'm going to switch into survival. Let's see. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, wait. I think I got to hold here. Hold on. One, two. Okay, there we go. So two hits there. Let's try with our netherite armor. One, two. You've got to be kidding me. It takes two hits to destroy an armor stand, which is literally just sticks, and an armor stand with netherite armor. The same amount of time to destroy. Are you kidding me? Wait, hold up. Maybe if I enchant our netherite, we'll go ahead and I'll chant all of the armor here with protection four, all right? Literally super high enchantments. These things have got to be absolutely buff, all right? Four, let's chuck this onto our armor stand like so. And then one, two. Okay, wait, we've got to do it quickly. One, two to destroy. And then over with our netherite armor. One, two. Bruh! How? This is so dumb, but it is in fact true. So uh, don't protect your armor stands using armor because that ain't gonna work. OMG. OMG what? Wait, are those netherite boots? What enchantments are on that? Projectile protection, frost walker, and normal protection? What is that gonna do in the nether? Oh no, dude, run away. No, not into the lava. Huh? What? How is he doing that? He's walking on the lava and it's turning to obsidian. Does that have to do with the boots somehow? If you use frost walker on water, it turns to ice and then you can walk over the water. But I had no idea it could turn lava into obsidian. That's awesome. I just never tried it because I didn't want to die. Let's open up an anvil. We'll put in our netherite boots. I don't know if it has to be netherite or it can be any type of boots. But now we're going to put in our frost walker 2 enchantment book. Grab those out. And now we're going to go ahead and chuck those on ourselves and switch into survival mode. Here we go. Walking across lava. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm dying. Now, I looked into it between then and my time of death, and essentially, they just changed the code of Minecraft so that when you stand on lava, it spawns in obsidian. And that can be done using this data pack here, guys. So we're going to go data pack, enable lava frost walker. We're going to enable that. And now, check it out. This is how they clickbaited us. We can jump down to our lava, and boom, we got ourselves the lava turning into obsidian. This looks absolutely dope. And even though it was clickbait, I would still install this data pack from the internet because it's just such a cool way to flex on your friends, guys. Now, for our next next trick that you didn't know you're actually gonna have to watch the next video because that's all the time we've got for today so i'll see you in the next one until then ay stream on lava out Bye.